Hi everyone, my name is Sylvia Wairimo, Group Water Treatment Engineer at Davis and Shatliff. And today I will be taking you through the day leaf ultra filtration unit. Behind me is a 20 cubic per hour unit that is fully assembled by Davis and Shatliff that I will be taking you through to try and explain how it operates, some of the applications that we do have, and some of the major features that you get to enjoy when you procure the day leaf ultra filtration unit. So I would like to start by first of all introducing some of the major components that make up the daily ultra filtration unit. I will take you to the pumps. We have three number pumps. The first one, as you will hear me mentioning, the feed pump. Then we have a CIP pump. I will get to explain to you at what point this is being used. Then we have a backwash pump. What else we have here are the electric automatic valves that are used to try and automate the system fully so that we, our aim here is to try and make the system less operator dependent. We have daily seco dosing pumps. We will get to explain at what point this is used. Two of them are used during maintenance and one of them is used for post disinfection of the water after ultrafiltration. The other item I would like us to see is the pre-filter. The pre-filter comes in just after the feed pump to filter the water just before it gets to the main, the heart of the system, the membranes. We can see flow meters. They indicate to us what flow we are getting and how much water we are getting out of the system. The next item that I would like to introduce to you is now the heart of the system the ultra filtration modules. We get the modules from DuPont, uh, USA. Then the other item that we will look at is the blower. The next item that I will introduce is the PLC panel that we, we assemble with the ultra filtration system. Here we can be able to, to operate the system. It has a, a, an operator friendly HMI. So I will put in my password. So from the HMI, we should be in a position to see a screen that shows you the mode that the system is in, whether it's on filtration or on maintenance. So currently the system is on filtration. The UF is green. The feed pump is also green. It shows you that the feed pump is the one that is working right now. The valves that are open, it gets to show you that. With the right signal, you should be able to see when the tank is full. That gives you an indication when you get to find the ultrafiltration plant is not running because the tank is full. Then from there, it gives you an indication of how long the filtration system has lasted. Because from different types of water quality, we do change the filtration time in such a way that if the water quality is so bad, we find that we require the filtration to run for a, minimum, for a maximum of 20 minutes. After 20 minutes, the system is supposed to automatically begin maintenance. That is the time where you will get to see the blower coming on, pushing in bubbles into the membranes. With those bubbles, it sort of acts like a brush to brush off all the particles that have already formed on the ultrafiltration module. It brushes them off and makes them loose for the rest of the maintenance. The next maintenance that is required is the backwash. Backwash is simply, as the name suggests, taking water in the backward direction to try and remove the particles that had already been captured by the ultrafiltration plant and direct them to the drain. The system here has been set to, back, to, to begin maintenance after the 10 minutes. So we should be able to see the transition from filtration to the next maintenance that is air scour. Notice the change in valves. Right now during filtration, we are doing the feed valve is open and the permeate valve is open. It's also indicating to you that you're dosing an oxidant 
but we do disinfection of the water after ultrafiltration system. So we're currently doing air power. This is the first process of maintenance for the ultrafiltration unit. We are putting in air bubbles into the membrane. It sort of acts as a brush to brush off and, and loosen any particles that had stuck on the membrane during filtration. Again, it's counting down depending on the setup. Then we move to gravity drain. As you can see, everything is moving automatically and without the requirement of an operator. So top backwash. Top backwash. Uh, this is the pump that has come on, the backwash pump. So this is one of the pumps that we use for maintenance. So it's taking the water back on, the, on a different direction as of filtration. Back to filtration. Depending on how the duration that you've put on filtration, the system will count down, then begin again the maintenance process. As you can see, the daily filter filtration system is a spectacular filtration unit for the fact that it's producing 20,000 liter per hour. And you can see the footprint that it has occupied in such that you're able to get far much water but with very little space required. Number two, uh, the, the membranes themselves, the pores that filter the water are 0 0.02 micron. What we are looking at here is, is a pore that is 10 times smaller than the human skin. So we are looking at very high filtration quality. Number three, you've been able to see each and every cycle of this system transitioning automatically from filtration to each and every step of maintenance as intended without the requirement of an operator. So what we are looking at is a system that once it is set up, it requires less of an operator to operate it and that makes it very convenient and first of all easy to use.